Folks, it's Ken. How you guys doing? Once again, I'm on the other side of the camera today. I've got a few minutes until my class begins downstairs. I'm at Creole School of Art in Winter Park, Florida. I have a Saturday cartooning class. And while waiting for the kids to show up, I thought I'd come up here and check out this new exhibit by Grady Kimsey. He is a local artist as part of the Art Legends of Orange County. And this exhibit up here about the sea is his work and former students of his. Let's take a little look around. Here's a quote from Mr. Kimsey. I like this one, but there's one over here I like just as well. Check this out. This is called Luna Rising by Pam Kaufman. If you get up here, do not touch artwork. <laughs> this is probably my favorite one of the entire exhibit. I like this one a lot. This is by Cheryl Mackey Smith. Density dispersed. Density. I think I said that wrong. But I kind of like it. It's really cool. Look at different perspectives of clay up on the wall. It's neat stuff. It's like I wonder why these were painted a different color. Here's a pencil, graphite pencil, wave X. And here's a piece over here that was actually made by Mr. Kimsey. It's called, I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, it's called Seekers. I like that. Wonder where he's going. See what's in there. Can't tell. It's Esther, made of clay. There's Esther. It's pretty cool. I like that. I like all the texture in here. I like the little details. And Esther's face. Sundown on Lake Osceola. An oil painting. If I'm going too fast and you guys would like to come back and see this for yourself. Creality School of Art. I'm at the Heritage Center. Which is on the corner of New England and Pennsylvania. Only a stone's throw away. From the Winter Park Farmer's Market, if you know where that is, Cannibal Square, Henry Sin, oil painting. This one's really cool. I'm not sure if that's metal. Should I touch it? It says do not touch. This has got to be clay, I'm sure of it. What does it say? Oh! I guess I was right. Clay, metal, and wood. By Lynn Warnick. Or Warnicky. If you're watching Lynn and I mispronounce your name, I apologize. There's a view from the top of the second floor. Marty Whipple. Some of these pieces like this would be an awesome... Take a picture of that and make that as your screensaver on your phone. Not sure if Marty would be upset with that or not. This is pretty cool. This guy's name is just Kyle. Or could it be a girl? Look at all these awesome toys. Birdhouse at the top. There's a little... I don't know what that is. A little house. There's somebody driving a car. Sorry, a little blurry, get too close. A dining room table. Someone eating dinner. Looks like all pieces from dollhouses. This is actually another one of my favorites. Healer. I'll start at the top. It's a 
beautiful sculpture. Yucatan Pitcher by J. Spaulding. Looks like coral, huh? An untitled piece by Randall Smith. Gotta step back for this one. And that's it. Oh wait, one more. Day's finale. It's a box. And there's the patio. You guys wanna see the patio? Back inside. Well, that's it, folks. Short and sweet. There's the grand look around as we started over there. So if you're interested, come check out Corelli School of Art Heritage Center. This exhibit will be up through, I think, April the 2nd. So here's that last quote by this guy. It's just a neat picture. A neat collection of these guys. And the backdrop is awesome. I still want to know what he's doing. He's looking for his ball. His ball's right there. You know. I think that's kind of cool. There you go. That's what I do currently. And everything I try to accomplish. So thanks for watching. Oh, wait, one more. This one's kind of cool, too. Looks like a watercolor. Watercolor in India ink. A little picture. Well, thanks again for watching and tuning in. All that kind of good stuff. And if you want to come check it out, check it out. It's all free. Creality School of Art. We are a non-for-profit. So you can come and see all this fun stuff. And our main campus, which I'm hoping to get to sometime this week. And show you the second part of this exhibit. On behalf of myself and Esther, thanks for watching and tuning in. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Say bye, Esther.